Hello everybody and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Now we're going to jump right in here with a new ironclad. Off camera I did finally beat a uh, run through of the ironclad so I think I kind of know how to play this now. Uh, let's talk to the whale. Uh, plus max HP, obtain a random... I'm not, I'm not losing the starting relic. I'm not gonna lose max HP. I want to gain max HP, actually. Um, let's think here. It's gonna be my best course of action. I want to encounter as many elites as possible. Looks like if I take this middle route, I will for sure encounter two. So we'll go question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, campfire, elite. I've seen people that'll just do, like, question marks, so we're going to give that a shot. Um, let's see here. I know that Bash is going to apply Vulnerable, but I feel like I'll get a lot more damage out of just straight strikes. So the Ironclad, I like that we do have this little bit of uh, wiggle room to work with in terms of taking damage, because we heal six at the end of each combat. Took one. Heal that right back. Take nine. I'll do a defend, defend, damage. And he's pretty much dead at this point. Actually, would he be? Oh yeah, I got him. Cultist is no more. Power is matched. Ha! Got him. Ooh, these are good cards. Um, perfected Strike. And, you know what? I'm just going to take Headbutt. I do like that card draw that I get. Question mark. Oh, God. And you fall in a puddle that's made of slime goop. You climb out and some of your goals. Combined with gold from Unfortunate Adventures mixed together the puddle. I'm going to lose the 11 health and gain gold. I'm willing to risk that. Because I'm going to heal at the end of combat anyways with the burning blood. Ooh, another one. You happen upon a group of... Looks like... Purple fire spirits. Dancing. Uh, which... Approach... Offer a reward. Um, I found the better the card, the better the reward. I can get rid of my head, but I suppose. Oh. The flames go slightly brighter. The sp spirits continue dancing. You swill flight. Okay, I gained f five health. That wasn't exactly a good trade, but we'll make it work. So I'm going to block. I'm going to take damage on this, no matter what I do. So at the very least, I can inflict maximum damage to this guy so that way he's vulnerable and I can kill him next turn yep I'm taking six so I'll come out should come out even so you're dead defend strike next turn he's dead yeah should get him and you toast Ooh. Metallicize. The end of your turn, gain three block. That's good. Flex is also good. I do like metallicize. It, I have a soft spot, soft spot in my... Ooh. At the start of your turn, deal three damage to all enemies. Sure. Bonfire here. I got six... No, I'm going to smith here. I'm going to upgrade a card. I'm going to upgrade metallicize. So I gain four block at the end of each turn. And elite. Oh god, this guy. He's not very fun. I will get metallicize. And then I will bash a fool. Four block. Oh, I do also have a block potion, so that's something working for me. 18 damage. Good to note. So I'll take four, which isn't bad. That's, that's all... God, he just keeps coming at you. 
All right, so I'll take another four. But I can I can deal with four damage. So he's gonna deal a negative buff on me. So I'm gonna hit him with a vulnerable. So I gain one less block and deal one less damage. I'm going to strike him to keep vulnerable on him. And I accept the fact that I am just going to take 10 damage. If I get desperate, I got a block potion. The start of your turn. Is that the start of each turn? So I wasn't really paying attention. Oh yeah, it is at the start of each turn. I didn't even notice that. I recognize the fact that he's going to be out of vulnerable, and I'm going to be dealing significantly less damage to him now, but I'll deal. Oh, that sucks. He would have been one health away. Well, now, if I basically look at him, he's dead. Mummified Hand, whenever you play a power, random card costs zero. That's good. And then... Let's do a Shrug It Off. So I could either do a Bonfire or a Shop. We'll check out the Shop. We'll see if we can get something good here. Upgrade two random skills, eh. Raise your max and heal all of your HP. Eh, I guess that's pretty good. Upgrade a skill. Uh, nothing here I'm overly thrilled about. I mean, Lee's Waffle's not bad, giggity. But um, I'll take an armaments and then I'm leaving. I mean, don't get me wrong. Upgrading cards is good. It's just not good for right. Ooh. Negate the next two curses you obtain. That's nice. Alright. Bonfire, let's rest. And I'm going to fight and hit one more bonfire. I'm not going to hit this elite. I'm going to hit this elite. I'm going to hit that bonfire and hopefully upgrade a card. So I'm going to gain block at the end of each turn. Shrug it off. So since I played uh, a power with Mummified Hand, this strike is now free. Deal another strike. 12. Good. So let's do armaments. Upgrade. Oh, not everything in my hand. I guess one thing in my hand. Let's hit him with a really hard bash. That's going to give us three vulnerable. Or give him three vulnerable. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him. At the very least, I'll take one damage. And if I would have done the math, I would have killed him this turn. But I was an idiot and didn't think about it. But he'll be dead this turn. Ooh, Sentinel. Gain five block. If this card is exhausted, gain... That's not bad. But I don't have the ability to exhaust anything, so it's kind of pointless for me. So I'm going to smith and upgrade armaments. So that'll upgrade all the cards in my hand. Yeah. I'm feeling it now, Mr. Cra... Oh, God. Heaven help us. We'll just go for... The last couple times I fought this guy, I actually fought him without actually blocking. I was able to kill him before any serious damage could be done. So this is only skill, so metallicize might very well save my hand. Save my... Save my hand. Save my butt. So I'll only take 10 damage, which is fine. It's fine. So he'll deal 6. So I will bash him. And end my turn. 
Ooh, vulnerable. So this next hit's his big hit. Yeah. Ten. That. That. Oh, I could have explosive potioned and... I need to slow down a little when I do this. And now he's dead. Took a little unnecessary damage. Ooh, ornamental fan. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Bludgeon sounds good. Evolve shuffle two wins in your hand. I don't like that. I'm going to grab another item. So what I've noticed is that I, uh, my runs tend to go better if I have a lot of active combat relics like this at the start of each turn at the start of each turn deal three damage like a whole bunch of stuff that whole bunch of relics that take into effect while I'm in combat armaments plus good so this guy's gonna split at 50% at 50 HP which should be around 35 so if I do so 47, 35, I need to deal 11 damage for, or yep, this will deal 11 to him. Oh, and I gained a little block. Oh, right, if I play three attacks, gain four block. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, okay. So I'm going to do a Armaments Plus, upgrade a Defend, and I'll take two damage. I can deal with that. Then three damage, very nice. Going to stay on the defensive here, Armaments Plus, into a Metallicize, Shrug It Off becomes free then. So that's 14. Strike 20. Holy crap. That's good. A cleave deals 7 damage to everyone. Can I kill this guy? Yes, I can. I really like this ornamental fan. That'll save my bacon. And you're dead. Body slam. Gain six blocks. Use a random card in your hand. I like heavy blow, even though we don't really have the ability to take advantage of the uh, strength right now because we don't have any cards that upgrade strength. It's still good. And the boss. Boss. Got this guy. So I'll metallicize. Defense now costs nothing. And I'll deal six damage. I guess I'll draw a card. It was cleave. That's not bad. And I now draw two less cards. So he's preparing a big attack here. So we gotta really quick get him down to 70 as fast as we can. If not, I think I'm gonna be consuming a few potions. So I can't get him down that low, but what I can do is an armaments plus, defense plus, shrink this, 25, and then my turn here. So that's 29, I'm negating all but 6 damage, which isn't bad, considering that's like his finishing blow. Armaments, upgrade my strike, strike him, strike him, and turn nine, blocked it. And now I have two less card draw. So he's again, he's charging up. 14. And now he's in now he's interrupted. So he's gonna split. And now I got two large slimes to deal with, so this isn't bad. Plus again, shrug it off. Draw a card, please. Cleave. Yes, please. 20. Shield. 
nothing, and I think this is going to apply a frail. Damn. All right. I'm going to hit you. Would I be able to interrupt you? I need to get you down to 33. Uh, nope. One shy of dealing 33. Well, I'm going to take a lot of damage irregardless, so... Yeah. Just going to accept the fact that I'm going to be able to interrupt this guy next turn. Actually... Yeah, now he is interrupted, so I can focus all my attacks on him. On this guy. Strike. Strike. He's interrupted. Armaments plus, because why not upgrade that strike? Unfortunately, now I have four enemies to kill, but... I should pretty well have everything under control. Shrug it off, gain 8 block. And an armaments plus to upgrade this strike. And my turn. Very lucky that I have this Mercury Hourglass working with me on this. Oof. So I'll take 2 damage. I would have really liked to cleave. Throw my explosive potion. Let's start picking them off. Dead, dead, dead. And then I kill him on the next turn and we win. With a heavy blade. GG, WP. 100 gold, add a card. No, that's stupid. Exhaust your hand, deal 7 damage for each card exhausted. Well, I think I'll skip the cards this time. And a chest! So at the start of each... Gain energy at the start of each turn, you can no longer see enemy intents. I don't like the sound of that. Sneko. Let's do the Calling Bell, since I can cancel out two curses. Parasite. That should be... Oh, that's the only one I got? That sucks. So I got a Regal Pillow, so that's 15 health on... 15 additional health on rest. A Toolbox. Random colors cards. And every time you play three attacks, gain one dex. That's not bad, so that synergizes really well with the Ornamental Fam. Then proceed. And we're going to save her right there. When we come back, we're going to hopefully clear floor two. But until then, guys, take care.